The property manager tells me they're putting the couple up in a hotel while the elevator is getting fixed. The residents have now spent a week without access to an elevator. I have not been able to have any type of freedom. I have been depressed. I've been anxious. I've been stressed out. I've been sad because I am stuck in a home. I feel I feel like I'm a prisoner. Another day waking up to closed doors. The elevator a necessity for Avon Mill apartment resident Karen Champagne Jackson, who uses a wheelchair. It's now been one week that the elevator has been out of service for maintenance and Champagne Jackson largely stranded on an upper floor. She has to scoot down the stairs with help from her boyfriend, Justin Robles, or an assist from emergency services to get back up. The situation is very sad and we just want answers. And it's all about communication. How is manager gonna keep this apartment up and running, you know, especially with the elevator that specific people in this apartment that we pay need. In a statement to Fox 61 News, property manager Amanda Green said, quote, several parts have been replaced already in the course of the repair investigation. And as of today, they identified another part that will need to be replaced, adding, quote, Rest assured, we are as anxious to return the elevator to service as you are. Management offered the couple a hotel, but Champagne Jackson worries for the other disabled and elderly residents who can't use the stairs. I don't know if they have family, and they're stranded up there. What if there's an emergency? I do appreciate the accommodations that I got, but what about them? The town planner Hiram Peck tells me typically this is an issue for the property manager and tenant and the town doesn't get involved, but they're stepping in after hearing of safety concerns. So we asked if there were any code violations here. There really is no code violation because it's just something that is inoperable at the present time because some part failed in the elevator apparently. Uh, but that's what we're, the building officials working on right now and trying to make sure that that part gets repaired and restored as quickly as possible. My hopes from here on out, I hope that they take it seriously from now on um, because somebody is going to really get hurt one of these days if they don't fix the elevator completely. Now, it's unclear when exactly that elevator will be back up and running. But in the meantime, the town planner says that anyone who needs help with emergency services or social services, they will help them get that help that they need. Now, the planning commissioner Peck also says that the planning commission rather approved plans a while ago for the rehabilitation of this complex in Avon. Alicia Machado, Fox 61 News.